And welcome back inside DETV News. I'm Nick Alessandrini. I would like to start today by saying good luck to all those beginning their fall sports camps this week as we are just around the corner of our local high school sports returning to us here in the first state. But let's start with our Little League champions, and that is Canal. Canal had their season come to an end on Friday night after a very tough loss to Toms Rivers, New Jersey in the Mid-Atlantic Region semifinal. Canal did hold a 3-0 lead thanks to a home run and two RBIs from Matt Rice, but was unable to hold off a two-out rally from New Jersey, where they scored six runs in the sixth inning to punch their ticket to Williamsport. Canal finishes with a record of 2-2 two and, two and overall a great performance from our Delaware champs and representatives of the first state. Congrats, Canal. The Grail Sports Complex has announced that their basketball summer league that was postponed in early July will now become the Grail Summer Shootout. The shootout will be a two-day summer league basketball event that will take place this weekend on Saturday, August 21st and Sunday, August 22nd. Check out local teams like Sally's, Middletown, Howard, Sanford, Caravel, and William Penn battled out with tough out-of-state opponents such as Archbishop Ryan, Emotep Charter, Newman Garetti, and Archbishop Wood. You can check out all the action at the Grail Sports Complex with a $5 admission, or if you can't make it, you can catch the game's live stream on Delaware Live Sports. Now, many of us know what Bones can do here in Delaware, but now the rest of the country is also starting to find out. Nashawn Bones Highland wrapped up his 2021 Summer League and NBA debut on Monday with the Denver Nuggets in a 94-87 win over the Bucks. In four games with the Summer League Nuggets, Bones averaged 20 points, 5 assists, and 3 rebounds. Bones shot 46.5% from the field while shooting 40% from three. Highland will look to make the Nuggets rotation this upcoming fall. The Birds are back on the field tonight for preseason game two of three, and this time they will meet with the New England Patriots. The Eagles have held joint practices with the Pats all week this week, and reports out of training camp paint the idea that the Eagles have had a great week working against New England. One trending video from camp on Tuesday in Philly showed second-year wideout Jalen Rager making an absurd catch in the end zone during one-on-ones. You can see that here, and some are calling it the best catch of camp so far. You'll also get a chance to see local product Andre Patton, who had three targets and a catch for 13 yards in the preseason opener against the Steelers last Thursday. Tonight's matchup of the Birds-Patriots is set to kick off at 7.30 p.m. And before we head to our top plays, we would like to congratulate Middletown senior defensive end Tomiwa Duraje for announcing his commitment to the University of Kentucky. Durge was an all-state defensive end selection last season and will look to make an immediate impact in Lexington. Now it's time for our top plays of the week, courtesy of Delaware Live Sports, and we again are going back to the fall with three more great plays. Getting us started at number three, we're going to go to Key Penlopen for Henry D'Ambrogi and Javon Burton. Check out the double reverse pass here. Hand it off back to the quarterback, D'Ambrogi, who's going to launch it deep to Javon Burton in stride, makes the catch for the touchdown for Cape Henlopen. Big play last year, and they'll be looking for similar success this fall. On to Ursuline, Haley Velasquez, Ava Panunto, and Maria Kennedy. This is one of the best volleys we saw all of last year during volleyball season. Ursuline, again, you're going to see them try to get the point. A tough battle. Back and forth they go, and you're going to see Ursuline with a huge play in about a second. This time they're going to get it cleared over the net, and it's going to take a phenomenal play from Velasquez to run it down back in the air. Here comes Panuto one more, and then Kennedy able to hit it back over the net and gets the point. One of the biggest volleyball plays of last year, and it was a good one for Ursuline. On to number one, our top play. It's a double dose of dimes from Nair Wilson and St. George's Tyreek Martin and Lamar Burton. You're going to check it out here. Wilson going to roll out right. Fire crosses body deep down the sideline, finds his man Tyreek Martin in the end zone for the big time touchdown. But St. George is not done yet. See Nair Wilson again this time going to take the snap and he's going to find a different player here. Here comes the pressure as he sits in the pocket, going to roll out and then find his running back Lamar Wright out of the slot deep down the sideline who makes the catch and he's going to show off the speed, take it the rest of the way. A double dose of St. George's as your top play this week. 